President Adam Abaro has paid tribute to his late Vice President, describing him as not only a Vice President but an, but an abled Vice President who has contributed a lot to the development of the country. Now, the Gambian leader made this remark on Thursday during the opening of the Book of Condolence signing at the State House in Panchul. Maria Macham has more details of that in this report. Gambians on Wednesday woke up to the news of the death of the country's Vice President, Badar Ali Juf, who passed away in Delhi, India after a brief illness aged 66. President Barra has since declared a seven-day national mourning for the late Vice President, who many describe as an exemplary leader, a patriot and a true son of the nation. While leading the ceremony of the opening of the Book of Condolence at the State House on Thursday, in his first public statement since the demise of the country's number two, President Alan Burrow described his vice president as someone who supported his agenda to develop the country. He said he will forever remember the late VP Juve as a loyal somebody. So, Badara will be remembered as a very good man, as somebody who has contributed to the development of this country. We are together during the transition for these five years because of his competence and his contribution and his commitment and his loyalty. That's why I appointed him as my vice president. Not vice president alone, but my able vice president who was really supporting me and the journey was for us to work together and develop this country. According to President Barrow, he and his Vice President Juve had promised to work together to change the lives of Gambians until 2026. But he, however, said that his VP could not live and fulfill that promise. Barrow takes the opportunity to urge his cabinet ministers to work towards fulfilling VP Juve's ambition to impact the lives of the citizenry. It was a promise that we will serve this country and we will impact the life of the people of this country for another five years. And that journey was started in 2022 to 2026. But unfortunately, he was not able to make it. But I will encourage my colleagues, cabinet members, for us to continue working together and make sure we will fulfill the ambition that Badar had for this country. In consolatory mood, the Gambian leader also described the death of his vice president as sad and untimely. He urges all to take his passing in good faith, accordingly mourned the late vice president Juve. It is very, very sad. Very difficult to come come to terms. It's very untimely. But we have faith, we have to accept it and move on. It's a mourning period. We want all the Gambian people to mourn better. And this is the first time a sitting vice president passed during active service. But it is destined that way. You cannot change destiny. Until he was appointed VP on 4th May 2022, VP Juve had served in various capacities including Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Permanent Secretary in various ministries across the government. According to the Presidency, upon arrival, the body of the late Vice President will be laid in state at the National Assembly for a state funeral. The late Vice President Juve was survived with a wife and blessed with family of several children. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Mariama Cham.